Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install FidoS Alpha, which is basically Chromium OS optimized for the Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 400. As you can see, I'm currently running FidoS Alpha on my Raspberry Pi 4 4GB model in 1080p and it seems to be running pretty stably. One of its key features is the ability to cast its screen or any YouTube video to a nearby TV or Chromecast just like this. In addition to that, Chromium OS also has a handy search function, with Google Assistant if you enable it in the settings. And a quick settings tray with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth which by the way works absolutely flawlessly, notification settings, a handy nightlight function, the caster screen option and a volume control slider. You can also enable Linux Beta in the settings which allows you to run Linux tools, editors and IDEs on your Chrome Pi. Okay, now that I've shown you a couple of things the OS can do, I'm going to show you how to install it. For the installation, you need to switch to your PC and download the Chromium OS image by clicking on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to the FidoOS Alpha GitHub page. Here, simply scroll down to Assets, click on the image and download it. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher. In my case, the Belena Etcher Flasher by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting belena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded the image and installed Belena Etcher, simply open up the flasher and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that I'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 32GB one. And click on Flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to boot. Then you're going to have to go through the setup process. Which includes signing in with your Google account. After that, FidoS Alpha should be successfully installed and you can start using the desktop. The first thing I'm going to do is open up the settings and add a wallpaper. I'm also going to set the resolution to 1080p at 30Hz. If you want the video playback to be smoother and the OS to run slightly better, you can change the resolution to 720p. Speaking of video playback, let's quickly test it out by playing Big Bug Bunny on YouTube.
720p is excellent and now let's have a look at 1080p. Ok, 1080p seems to be running relatively well. Now let's have a look at how well it manages to play a 720p and a 1080p video file of mine in the standard video player. As you just saw, the Pi managed to handle both amazingly well. However, I would still recommend overclocking your Pi to get as much power out of it as possible. But other than that, that will be it for today. I hope I helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.